Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I was just skipping through the things and then I loaded back in and I started taking my turn and I was like, oh right. People want to see that. Here we go. My tank guy isn't going to have too much effect against the anti-tank guy, so... So how do I use this? I think it even says like that this is a explicitly a, a elevator on the map. Yeah, has a little up and down on it. So what should I do to use it? Um, luckily for me, my awesome sniper was able to handle this problem at like, what is that? hundred yards? It's a it's bit away. Yeah! Wrong turn. Sorry. Hey, that was a, uh, command point though. That's what you get. I want some Cheetos for some reason. Um, I guess I'll hang out in here. Oh, yeah. Over here is where she fell down. Medic. Doc, come on, man. Two country, sorry. Um, and I guess I'll just camp here. Send a little message. Some love letters. 20 of them. Let me know if you get them. Um, okay, so what's the plan now? Oh yeah, let me toss Largo into this thing. Because I haven't done much with Largo in a little bit. Yeah, ride the choo-choo. Try to conserve ammunition when you can. Oh, that's the button. Okay, so someone needs to be on that button. That's probably how it must work. Understood. Good night. God damn, Marina. She is killing guys out here. Sweet dreams. I love her little Ahoge as well, her little idiot here. Oh, that's a barricade. I was like, where's the enemy? Show him to me. Show me the threat. Yes, right away. So it looks like I gotta drag him into this. Yeah. Ride? Is that gonna let us both up? No. It says that I can do tanks on it though. What's the fucking problem? Also, what should I do up here? Should I be doing anything up here? No. Yeah, I don't actually need to do anything up here. I can just keep them up there, though. I got it! Why should I enjoy seeing dirt? So close. That's okay. I'll just take the little the little extra steppy that it'll take, and then I'll I'll finish my turn out and walk around over there, just see what's up. You know, where are these reinforcements coming in though? Minor damage okay, sustained. cool. It zooms in on on Homer, and then they show me the the big damage, and I say, "Oh God, he's going to die for real." Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Love to see it. You love to see it. 
Lancer, huh? Edie's over there. She can deal with it. No! Guess not. Don't leave me here. Ugh. This keeps getting worse. Like with every every step, there are more and more missteps. Every action brings more mistakes, invites more trouble. Shabooms. I really wish that I could hit a button to skip this. I've hit every button on my controller and it does not let you skip those. Again, just a little um, agnostic in terms of player comfort in how this game was built and designed, you know? Okay, round eight. I'm on. No matter what, this Lancer needs to die and Edie needs to be okay. Because if Edie is not okay, a fucking keystone of our army has fallen. I don't need to pick people up yet. I will wait for the camp, I think. And then I'll wait here. Because I don't want to just hop on this thing with no move left. Or not at least, at least not with no turn left. Entering combat. Okay, so what's going on over here? Mmm. I see it. Get them back here. Fast. So what am I shooting? Makeshift bridge? The northwest bridge is down. I'm on it. It won't take a second. So that's something. Okay, it's set to blow. Now it just needs a gunshot to detonate. When it goes off, the whole bridge goes too. All right, got it. I wanted to go with a time bomb, but there's no guarantee the armored train would be there. Hmm. I see. This way we can wait until the target is where we want it before detonating it. Oh, are we going to have to? Cross the central bridge and move up the east bank, and there's a great spot to shoot from. It's all yours now. Good luck getting those fireworks up on time. I'm glad Zaka was able to do that in what the no that time. Sir. The Gallian forces appear to have bombed the northwestern route. What? Clever, but not enough. Oh, we did something cool. Restore power to the work lifts. I want scouts out there reporting. It looked like status. the corners of his mouth got stuck in two separate vacuum cleaners. You know, they can like all they like. This rail car is impenetrable. I'll enjoy their demise. So I feel like the way that this story is going now, the character that we know the least about is actually, um, what's his name? Roddy Yeager is now the one we know the least about. Um. Yes, right away. Be careful with the armored rail car. Nice. Um, which means that, like, next chapter, or maybe the one after, is definitely going to be the bit where we go fight Roddy Yeager again. I wonder if we're going to get the chance to Thank use you. any, like, tanks of, of other persuasions, you know? Okay. Let's start to push you over. It got me pinned down. So I kind of um split myself for um, not no reason, but not enough of a reason. Uh when I crossed over here. Okay, I feel like it's going to be pretty crucial to get you over. I'm even going to give you two turns. For you, 
sure. Jan can have one turn. Oh, the lances be so slow, though. The front lines made enemy contact. Support them. Okay. Now what? Oh, let's start calling people in. I have no scouts. So let's get a scout. Yay, more reinforcements. Hooray. I don't know if I don't know if Rosie's gonna be able to fight all of these guys. That's a scout though, so actually maybe. Scouts are pretty lame. <laughs> nice shot, idiot. I think the move is gonna be getting everyone to that door. Um Not again. Go down. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Oh, you love to see that. You love that. Oh, boy. If I end up making it through this with minimal losses, it'll all work out. We've only got one loss so far. Okay. Okay, so... Reinforcements have arrived. Which way? Should I bother moving my tank? Don't mind that. Um, okay, so I need to get there. Her. Got it. Here I come. <laughs> Sweet. Maybe I can do it with these three. New target sighted. I've got a vision. There's fresh. Is there fresh meat up here? Enemy sighted. Oh yeah. Got it. Let's do this thing. Enemy sighted. Okay. You got it, Han. Get on up there, Jan. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get the tank across. Do I just need to like Go all the way down the the middle with a uh, with an engineer. Four shots to kill. I've got three. So unless I get extra shot, I'm going to need to um, get inventive, get lucky, or survive around with this. I'm just going to pile on as much as I can. Die for me, sweetie. Okay. I can go another round. I was banking on that. I was banking on exactly that to happen. Are you sure? Cuz that thing has happened a lot to me, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it every time it happens. Yeah. Cuz now it is is it is directly contributed to the death of two Sorry, tanks. Honey. Both of which in this very fight, in fact. Okay. You've still got your whole move. That's not going to take a whole lot, but maybe if I spend three, I can get you to where I want you to. God damn. It's going to be a fucking march. The hunt begins. Luckily, now that Alicia's here, I can at least take advantage of her uh, extra command point, even if I'm not using her. 
Understood. I think she's going to be useful just in shooting the thing. Nothing personal. The fact that she says nothing personal is just icing on a, on a edgy, edgy cake. I love that. I'm on. Is that everything? Yep. Okay. Things are a little up in the air right now. I don't know where they're going to go. A little afraid, a little worried, a little scared, but... Who? My rifle. Tavise the Beast. I've never encountered him before. That's new. I didn't know he was there. I didn't see him. Yes, that's what I wanted to happen. I was really hoping she'd be able to kill him off her turn. I guess he's there to just ensure that you can't and won't... Uh-oh. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, it's getting dangerous. Okay, I've got to I've got to revive Marina. There's no way that I'm doing this if Marina's not alive. And by this, I mean the war. <laughs> like Marina is is crucial to these efforts. To say the least. Okay. So who's over here? Homer. My turn, okay? Who is over here? Can't beat the smell of fresh cream. Pull it together. Should I just leave the tank there? I feel like maybe I should. Hello, Largo. Is his name just supposed to be large? Oh. Because, like, I feel like that's a little reductive of his character, but I feel like that's an okay name for him. Like, it's not a weird choice. It just kind of amuses me. So how do I deal with these? Can I shoot through these? I should have paid more attention in war school. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I did a weird mouth noise. Just watch this. Okay. So I think the tank is just going to have to stay downstairs. Um, if that's a misstep, I, I'm just going to have to deal with that. I'm going to admit that I, I don't know the correct path forward. I'm going to start moving these people up. Let's do this thing. Here I come. Enemy unit neutralized. Enemy sighted. Medic. Man, that guy's far. Like, farther than I would have thought. Alright. Our perfect sniper queen is safe. Hallelujah. Let's do this thing. I will say also, not using the tank means that, um... No. Well, I just hit half of them. That's it. Wait, can I scooch her up more? Let's do this thing. Cause if I can, I can do that. Ain't no stopping me. Damn straight. Here I come. Cool, another one down. Just a scout, but got a command point, so that's pretty sway. Target silent. Head for the next one. Okay, that's useful because that lets me. Put some more guys on the field. You got it, Han. I'm just gonna scooch Jan up just to avoid the sniper behind us. If anyone could take a shot, it might be Jan, but I don't want to risk it. Yeah. 
Not for my current level of biscuit. I can go another round. It might even be good to bench Jan. Because currently he doesn't have that many like things. So Hmm. Oh, we can bring Edie back in. And let's bring Cesare as well. Um, hmm. Yes, right away. I could make him run all the way over there, but it is just going to be faster to spend one on getting him out and then one on getting him back in over there. Like, way faster. So, he's going to be able to shoot her, but she's in the camp, so hopefully that means that he, uh, she'll be able to take that hit. And she'll be able to regenerate it back as well. Oh, yeah, they've only... They've got a lot. They've got less command points now. They're getting less every turn because I shot that guy that had a point on him. I might do this first try, and all it took was one actual real death, one real fucking blood sacrifice was all it took. Like this game was pretty hard to start, but like I've gone from like total routes to like losing one and being like that's acceptable. These are acceptable losses. They must be, you know. You can stay over there, bro. I got it. Why should I enjoy seeing dirt? Get ready. Oh yeah. Girl bosses. That's what you get. Man down, everybody be careful. Okay, so then we got that, huh? Behind the building. Word. I think starting from fresh, get everyone behind the building and then start fresh from there is probably going to be a pretty smart move. Cool, it's on. Oh! Oh! Could I not go up the elevator as the tank because it wasn't on yet? Because that would be stupid on my part. I want you to retreat. You've done enough. Pull out. We'll handle this. Thank you. Did that take two off of my thing? And then I do just want to pull you right back in, but, like, I don't want you to walk that whole way. Because, like, I need that command point that's on your person. Your protagonist privileges, you know? I need that. Hell yeah, girl. Okay, so we're behind that. How many points do we have? We have five. Okay. You say so. I'm going to try and scooch Mr. Cesari up. Woo. Risky. Am I... I believe I'm out of range. Cool. That's what I like to see. Moving out. I might you know it might also be good to send Jan back. I see the armored train ahead. Be wary of him. Let me just drink my juice here. Ooh, he got he got winged. 
Okay, I'm gonna take another point and, and scooch him into danger. You say so. I see no mines on this. There was some movie where like people were sharing the scope of a sniper rifle in order to like just scope out an area and it was really cool. I thought so at least. Um Are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna take Jan out. Been very useful, but I think that that's the right move right now. Uh, and then who are we gonna put in? Is that all my scouts? Oh god. Maybe we're in it again, yeah. Okay. So that's only just filling up because they have a whole bunch of points that they're not spending, but they keep getting more every turn. Hmm. I like Gachunk. Not quite Chugga Chugga, but it's alright. It's okay, you know. Welkin, I'm not using you. Reinforcements. Welkin? No. Okay. The hunt begins. Edge cool. Please be careful, the armored rail car. Okay. I think Rosie should go in first. Let's do this thing. Because she has appreciable health and damage. Wow, yeah. <laughs> um, let's go back in again. I'm on. Bomb. So does it have to be over this one? Because it is. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's over that one. Let's do this thing. So I think that means that it's a good time to shoot, right? Here I come. Is that right? Yes, it is. First try. Not every day that. What? What? This wasn't my first try. Now that I'm remembering. Unknown vibrations detected. But only two tries. It's the bridge. It's collapsing. That's a horrifying scream. Cowards, too afraid to face me directly. Oh, sorry, Dweebenheimer, but we don't all have an armored train that we can shoot from. This tank is the bedrock of the Empire itself. Unshakable. Well, you guys shouldn't have fracked so much. Invincible! These kind of screams are the screams an anime character does when he dies. Are you dying? Because I'm not done with you yet. stretches don't mind me been doing this a while getting a little stiff neck you know so long gregor wow yeah he's dead that's too bad yes we dropped the armored train like i know that he's like a nazi and a war criminal and like he's the enemy and he fucking commits hate crimes yada 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 etc etc but like Lieutenant, it's interesting it's always fucking something it's always nice to have like imperial soldiers are fleeing the city they've set fire to the darksome concentration camp oh boy the barracks are in flames. Get over there, now! It's always nice to have an, a villain who's just not what? morally gray. No. Like, maybe they've got their thing, but they're fucking hateable, you know? Fine by me. 
Is that guy's surrogate da daughter going to get got? A medal awaits you. Cool. I think I'll go in for all the medals because there's only a couple of them. We tried shooting the fire, but it didn't work. Our grenades only made it stronger. Why? Why murder everyone? Because they're they forced everyone not quite morally gray. They're a little more evil than that. Aren't you happy, Rosie? Yep, there you go. I like how the doll has all of the little accoutrements on uh, on Somebody tell me who did this. On the rest of them, you know. Tear their stinking heads off. What would that accomplish? Revenge. That's what? Fight fire with fire. An eye for an eye. Didn't enough people die today? Okay, I disagree with you completely. Even if our traditions lead us to death at the hands of others, we don't respond with violence. When we die, we die for peace. That is how the Darkson live their lives. Oh, he opened his eye. Now those lives are gone. Forever. But why? I could hate them. Maybe even kill them. But that wouldn't bring those people back. Yes, but that's All not why you do it. Is try to survive and help the ones who are still here. That's pretty impressive, dude. Guess that eight pack ain't just for show, you know. Are we gonna have a little Iwo Jima moment here? Hey! She accepted a Darkson thank you without any microaggressions. Help us look. Or macroaggressions. I disagree with what he says completely, you know? Like, if his point is that he's not a fighter and he's not going to help people by fighting anyway, then whatever. But, like, violence will bring these people back. Like, no, bro. Everyone knows that. Violence will stop further hate crimes from happening. That's that's the that's the concept of like revanchism in a war, you know? Occupiers out of the country. Like I I kind of disagree with him. I don't feel bad that I disagree with him though. I like that this game has written itself in a way where like every character has something I really like about them and really hate. In and overall, I end up liking all the characters, but they all have some huge flaw. Like, Largo's being, like, Largo's initially a straight-up racist, and then just graduates to being a centrist on it, and tells them both to stop fighting. All right. Uh, and like, what's his name? He's only like three episodes old now. Zaka? I think it's Zaka. Uh, ooh, cool. Hey, that's the spiral spear and shield from the story. Bronze arms of Gallia. Yeah, there you go. Furthermore, for your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, Yeah, I can only assume that by final she just means by the most recent one. What is that? Scout gun? Oh, it's painted with the with a uniform. Gallian 1R. And another special lance. May your allegiance to Gallius. But yeah, I really like how every character has like something where I'm like, you're completely wrong and you're like you're you're wrong and I'm not gonna give you a chance to to argue that you're right because that's not the right thing to do. Like racism or just being like, no, don't get mad at like hate crimes. That's something I just kind of disagree with. Especially in the context of a war, you know? And again, like, if his, if his thing is that he's not a fighter and he wouldn't help anyone by fighting anyway, then, like, that's fine. I'll accept that, you know? I'm doing this because I have a thing to talk about and I don't want to talk over the plot. Go. 
but like, God, what a solid game, you know? But yeah, I would argue that just like, look, let them just die for peace. Like, peace will happen when we get the occupiers out of our country. I'm. I damn you. Like, peace is almost a natural occurrence that will happen when people who are doing things for bad reasons, like, they're taking land that isn't theirs with the explicit intent to exploit it for more warfare. Like, they are the bad guys here. I know that there's a lot of morally gray. I know that guy cried about his mom. There's still occupiers in a foreign land. They're doing the wrong thing. You know? Thanks in part to Squad 7's efforts. In part. Forces reclaimed the city of Thousand. Well, then again, I guess there's a lot of stuff battle. happening off screen. Who knows what Faldio's up to? A brief and, well and potentially the protagonist of Valkyria Chronicles 2 through 4 and the other Valkyria game. I was walking across base just now, and the guys from Squad 2 stopped me. <laughs> they said everybody felt like we got Thousand back because of us 7s. Nice. Well, yeah. We took down that train, after all. I want a medal. I love that Gregor says, why don't you fight me, like, man-to-man -man with no irony on top of his, like, train. I hear most of the like, he's literally deep inside this immortal, like, metal beast, and he's like, yes. Sitting in here is fair to everyone else, and people who don't come out and get shot by my big train are not playing by the right rules. The rules of war, that is. Now back to committing more hate crimes against in immigrants. Detainees of, by the way. Oh, well, I hope they're all doing well now. Yep. I thought so. Yo. Oh, is this why there's 19 uh, instead of like 20, like a round Mr. number? Zaka? Because we get Zaka and he's just, he's a canon character now. Wait, is you? Zaka going to be the cannon engineer? Because Alicia's the cannon scout. Rosie's the cannon um, shock trooper. Largo's the cannon lancer. We don't have a sniper or engineer. Oh, this? As of today, I'm a Gullian militia man, same as you. Yeah. There's something really cool in the, uh, I think it's a Netflix show, Mr. Sunshine, where he talks about Mr. Sunshine is about a Korean man who uh, flees to the United States and later joins the military. And uh, it's set like in the 1900s and like, hey, racism is still doing hot, doing numbers in the 1900s. Uh, and, you know, being an Asian person in the United States during the 1900s is not a great, not great. Uh, but he sees that People treat a black person who is in the military the same as other people who are in the military. And he's like, oh, in the United States, the military is the great unifier. The military is where you put everyone on the same playing field. Like, if you're in the military, that overrides everything else. So he joins the military as a result. And like, first of all, what, a, what an awesome and scathing criticism of the United States Armed Forces that comes across as completely normal in the universe of the show and doesn't take you out of the action. But also, what a smart thing to do. And also, what a good reason to, like, make all of these elements come together, you know? You get your American wartime stuff. You get K-drama. Gosh. They put me in your squad, so we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Nice. So, yeah, I imagine he's going to either be a sniper Wait, or a... a... Can you even fight? <laughs> What was all that about living the Darkson way? Yeah, all right. Eh, don't sweat the details, right? A uh, what now? And I've got experience as a tank commander. My ride's on the smallish side. Oh, the is the Edelweiss going to, to be a medium tank? And are, is he going to be a light tank? And I thought your boss was pretty righteous. Pretty righteous. All right. Myself. What? Me? Interest. I was literally just talking like, oh, hey, are we going to get to control any of the other tanks? Well, we didn't he says he's a tank much, commander. You've got a fresh perspective, you know? Yeah, he does. Hmm. I guess so. I don't <laughs> think I'm much different than other folks, though. 
it's so funny that Welkin is completely incapable of not realizing how fucking weird he is. Welkin, you're so clueless. Like, oh, I'm just lucky. Now back to learning about insects and realizing the proper ways to destroy a tank with my Anyhow, bare hands. I'm excited to join the team. <laughs> They've done this a couple times where they write his laugh and they do a double A. Kind of interesting. I wonder if it's an intentional uh, idiosyncratic thing. Oh, getting harder and harder to be racist. Yeah, sucks to suck. It's the plan. Chapter 11. The Marbury Shore. Ooh, I can see... I can see Isara holding the little... The little thing there. The little doll. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Okay. The episode's over, all right? The episode's officially over, but I'm gonna go to headquarters and I wanna look at my guys. Uh, cause first and foremost, <laughs> I need a new... <laughs> I need some new bodies. Uh, a new scout? Now that we're getting, we're working on our racism problems, and, um... Ooh, that's interesting. Cherry. Ike is cute. I like that. Pollen allergy and good buddy. Uh, we looked at Susie Evans, but we didn't do much with her. Let's put her in. I'm Nancy DeFore. It's so good to meet you. Very cute. Okay. So what I want is for him to be in here somewhere. Zaka, there he is. He likes Lynn, Wavy, and Nadine. Okay, so did we get another... Yes, we did. So you're wheeling the A2. 360, 28, 53. 350, 32, 60. So it's only a drop of 10 range. Range is not a problem for you because you can really, really just walk up to a guy. Now, there is a bit of a problem because we have, you know... Better range is good, I think. Yeah, the lessened range will negatively impact when it comes to um, Oh, I shouldn't be in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the I'm gonna check the graveyard one more time. But yeah. Remember, this is the end of the episode. The episode already ended. I'm just in here because I wanna I wanna go look at all my new goodies and I wanna do it on camera for anyone else who's curious. I'll teach you heal all you oh. I that's so oh my god I hate this mechanic like I feel like I should just be able to go in whenever I don't know why it wouldn't let me do that you know I don't understand what the point of that is the shamrock oh these are both flowers this one's traditional in uh, Austria, I think, and this one's traditional in uh, Ireland. Um, so what do we got on you? Let me... Can I look at the stats of my things? Yes, I can. Uh, Edelweiss is... 2200... 825, 350. 2200. About the shamrock. Oh, thank you. Uh, the turret can be outfitted with one of three weapons. Anti-armor and mortars. A Gatling gun. Massive damage to a single ground unit. Okay. Because the Edelweiss isn't that good at that. It has the big anti-tank cannon. And it has its little, its little gun that only shoots seven. But the Gatling gun. Or a flamethrower that can mow down a lot of enemies. It's a melee tank. Interesting. 
Uh, and it has similar health. Okay. Interesting. We're going to get a lot slower. With multiple tanks. Because each tank is going to cost two. But I imagine having him on the on the team is going to make it so we don't have to worry, you know? We don't share blocks either. That's annoying. Oh, and his is backwards. Or, um, flipped. Wait, let's get the normal one first. Yeah. I, I think armor is pretty much always a good bet. I can't believe that they, they split it like this. I wonder what you get automatically. Because I haven't actually looked through every single one of these before. Wow. So yeah, um, that's, that's Valkyria Chronicles, everyone. Uh, remember again that I am going to be taking a two-week vacation. Uh, nothing serious. I just felt like it. Um, but then when we come back, we'll be at the start of chapter 11. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all for coming. I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. I hope you're enjoying it because, like, god damn, this game is surprisingly good. Like, really good. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. So, everyone have a good day. Bye.